Many countries have satellite accounts. Satellite gives the game away. They're satellite, they're not essential. It's something you go to in case you have agitators like myself saying, what about the environment? They'll immediately produce the satellite account and say, look, we, we are interested in managing the environment. Uh, we are not only for growth of GDP, as well, which could be rapacious. Uh, that, 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 uh, that, that objective could be rapacious. I mean, uh, it's demand for uh, natural capital. But India recently, uh, at, at, at a, as a uh, due to a prime ministerial directive two and a half years ago, uh, convened the commission to prepare a report which would be which would act as a framework for the revisions of national accounts in India to incorporate natural capital. Uh, appropriately, they called it greening national accounts. Okay. That's the greening part is just a signal that it was environmental accounting which was going to be introduced and you needed a systematic way of doing it and the commission was asked to do it and I was asked to chair it, which I did at great pleasure and um, I enjoyed it very much. Um, the secretary of the commission, a member secretary of the commission, was the chief uh, statistical chief statistician of the government of India, a very, very distinguished uh, econometrician who heads the statistical office. And of course, that meant that uh, the central government statistical office, but that meant, of course, that the commission had the automatic legitimacy, even after the commission's work is done, and the report is submitted, uh, it's there, and the member of the commission was, is in charge of the statistical office, so it's not going to be forgotten that easily. Uh, the report was completed and uh, uh, presented to the Prime Minister in April this year. So it's early days. And the framework, we were quite careful not to ask for the moon. But the framework is quite conservative. It, it has a road map uh, saying what can be achieved in five years, what can be achieved in ten years, and so forth. Uh, to include more and more of natural capital in a seamless way within uh, the national accounting system. Um, but the framework is not conservative in the sense of uh, understating the problem. It's extremely bold in the sense that it really was a thorough statement about what ideally should happen. Uh, it gives a complete justification for the steps that are being suggested. But then at the end, recognize that the ideal is not possible. So the question is how uh, to proceed step by step. And I don't believe at the end of the day, there is a limit to how much you can do in terms of true valuation. There will always be plenty of stuff that you simply will not be able to value. No two people will agree on it, understandably, because they will see the world differently. And I think it's a mistake to think that our salvation lies in having a complete system of national accounts. We'll never have a complete system of national accounts. But we have to survive and I hopefully do better than simply survive. For that, we will need a certain amount of deep appreciation of nature. Okay. even something like a fondness for nature, an affection for nature. Because in many ways, the decisions in most of the world are made by urban people, and increasingly they're divorced from nature. Uh, they might go for a weekend stroll in the countryside, but that would be seen as an, in the countryside is seen as an amenity, it's a luxury. And immediately, the moment somebody says, yes, but we have lots of poor people, then they say, oh, well, of course, growth comes before nature. We'll handle nature when we grow rich. That's the standard of The problem with that argument, really, is that the really poor, non-urban poor, i.e. rural poor, he doesn't need to be persuaded, she doesn't need to be persuaded about the importance of nature because their lives depend on it. 
everything depends on it. Their whole life is built around nature, from morning to night, collecting water, fetching water, collecting fuel, words, cow dung, you name it, it's sort of mixed up. International organizations like UNEP need to, uh, to push not only the technical side, which is what we are discussing here, which is totally important, absolutely vital. Otherwise, you don't have a language to discuss policy, economic policy. But I think ultimately, our education system needs to be such throughout the world where increased urbanization shouldn't mean that people forget that there is a Earth we have inherited, which has, which is uh, the integral part of it. Uh, if you, I think it's a bit, bit like being in love with a woman, uh, for a man, that is, uh, the reverse. You don't put a price, you can't explain, but you protect. And you, you, know, you feel extremely offended if it's insulted. So I think ultimately something like that is to be is the way I would like to see things. The technical side I'm very familiar with. I've helped create quite a bit of myself. But it's very limited.